How you wow. doing? I feel great. I'm, I'm in the best shape of my entire week, so I'm feeling really <laughs> You Very do. Good. I look at you and Ben Affleck, and you guys have both been on the show over many years, and you both got real muscular, and I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. It's kind of sad. How you doing? Everything, I'm good. everything all right? Everything's good. I, I, I too, am celebrating. Uh, I'm from Boston as well. Oh, yeah, so. right. Are you as in love with Tom Brady as Ben is? So uh, here's my Tom Brady story. I was there the day that Giselle met Tom Brady. No way. I was at the game. She came to the Chargers game in uh, San Diego, and I sat, I sit with the Kraft family, and I'm talking to her, and I'm helping her. She didn't really know. She was like, what is the football? She was like, <laughs> I, I was walking her through it. And then I got to see them meet. I was there. We went down to the locker room. Wow. And I'm telling you, she's beautiful, but then he's beautiful. Yeah. And when they got together, we all just felt so ugly at that moment. Uh -huh. it, they were like white walkers. They just drained us of all our, our life energy and beauty. That is unbelievable. Yeah, and did yeah. you notice they had an instant connection? Yeah, they had a simpatico. If wow. I know, right Who was your Valentine tonight? You have. Well, I have a girlfriend. My girlfriend you do? Kelsey. Yeah. Oh, all right. How long you guys been going out? We've been together for almost uh, two years in bliss. In bliss. Yeah. Yes. Is it bliss? Is it nonstop bliss? It really is. And and then we come to a day like today where I, I, here's the thing. You know. Do this you about do me. the whole Valentine thing? Yes. Oh, you do. Because I love love. Oh, oh, how sweet. The day starts, we watch Dirty Dancing. <laughs> then we watch nine episodes of Love Boat, because uh -huh. that's good. Then I write some haiku. I learned to play the cello, so I play a concerto. OK. I'm into it. I'm <laughs> it into sounds it. like yeah. it, yeah. It's, it's a little tricky, though, because my girlfriend and I, we get a lot of crap from people because we have an age difference. I'm 46, and she's 20. Oh, wow, you do have an age difference, yeah. Thank you for the Snickers of approval. <laughs> I'm sure that wasn't judgment at all. <laughs> I'm 46, she's 20, and here's the thing. I love her, she's the kindest, sweetest, just my favorite, my best friend. And sometimes I actually find myself saying like, where has she been all my life? And then I realize she wasn't alive for the first 26 yeah. years of it. Yeah. Your best friend was a baby when you were in, like, yeah. We don't need to. <laughs> People are like, you're robbing the cradle. I was like, she hasn't slept in the cradle for, like, nine years. Yeah. <laughs> you are, does she mind if you talk about her? Does she get upset? Or? She's probably leaving right now. She <laughs> is, yeah. No, no, she's really cool about it. She's good about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do people get mad at you ever for talking about them on stage? Oh, yeah. Oh, they do? Yeah. Uh, there was a couple that came to my show many years ago, and they, uh, they came backstage for the meet and greet and said, we met at your show. And I was so excited. I was like, oh, that's really great. Yeah, we met. We had your comedy, and, and you know, we both loved it and traded lines. And we were together for five years. And then we broke up at your show. <laughs> yeah, because I used to have a bit about, like, uh, if you really love somebody, give them your cell phone right now. It's and let them look through it. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So basically, if you're going to come to my show, clear your browser before <laughs> you. <laughs> Did that happen? Okay. Yeah. And it went badly. It did, and they were they were done. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I'm, a, they... I'm a matchmaker, and I'm a matchbreaker. <laughs> I just came up with that. You um, somewhat famously, I know, are a fan of uh, Jeopardy, the uh, the trivia show. Love it. Yes. We, I have an insatiable it's... appetite for knowledge, Jim. It, Yes, I, I know that about you. So I think this is over the summer. Is this correct? You're watching Jeopardy. Yep. And uh, well, <laughs> let's show the clip uh, okay. of what Dane happened upon. All right, so there's the category, and then uh, the qu the Dane Cook's half brother and business manager stole millions from the comic. This crime of misappropriating bank funds. <laughs> what goes through your head when this pops up on screen? I knew the answer. <laughs> I was like, "What is I got?" <laughs> and, <laughs> and while that is funny, but also not funny, were you ever able to recoup any of that of that money that you lost in that? My tour starts next week, so <laughs> please come. Please. So no, huh? Please come. <laughs> this is your first like big tour in five years, it as is. I mentioned. Why yeah. have you? What? Why about? Why is it now? This is, um, I'm coming up on 29 years doing stand-up comedy. Is that true? Yeah, 29 oh my years. God. Thank you. A standing ovation would have been appropriate, but that's... Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 I don't, I don't want it now. I don't want it. At 30, you'll get it. They're waiting a year. At yeah. 30. Um, it, it, you, okay, so took a little time just to play every video game possible. <laughs> and then I got bored and realized, you know what, I got to pay my mortgage. Uh -huh. um, but really, honestly, it's like I just, I put together some of the most uh, dynamic, uh, introspective, and yet still observational humor and worked on it out here in L.A. for the last couple of years. And now I'm bringing it to the masses. So you I are, you literally are.
You are performing at Radio City Music Hall, which that's a that's a big deal for Ooh. every performer. Had you not been there before? I've I never, that, I've I'm never played Radio by City. That. Yeah, yeah, I've never played. I played uh, many years ago. I was asked with several comics to do a show at Carnegie Hall, mm -hmm. and uh, I told my mom and dad, I said, "Listen, I want you to come to New York. I have this really crappy gig that I got to do at a dump." Mm -hmm. And they were like, oh, really? You want us to go? I was like, yeah. And they didn't know. I set a limo, and they came up, and it was at Carnegie Hall. They got wow. to see me play. That's pretty great. At Carnegie Hall. That was great, yeah. My dad liked it. My mom booed. <laughs> yeah, she was drunk on Palua Sombreros, well, and you, I heard her like, boo! You have mixed love, luck with relatives, it turns out. <laughs> I really do. I'm glad we can laugh about yeah, this. Yeah, I'm glad. I know at least I can. Yes. I yeah. <laughs> well, it's great to see you. Uh, this is a big tour. It starts February 20th and 21st in Huntington, New York. Is that where That's it right. all begins? Yes. And then February 22nd in Albany. Go see Dane Cook. Dane Live. Uh, what's the name of the tour again? It's called the Tell It Like It Is Tour. He's telling it like it is. Dane I'll Cook. see you guys in Boston. I can't wait to come home. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.